back to my channel. Today I'm filming brands I want to try in 2018. Now I did try to film this before but I was kind of all over the place and then I thought of a few more brands I wanted to add to this list so I decided to go ahead and refilm. I hope you guys don't mind this is a little bit late. I know most people like to get these videos up in like January and I feel like I just did my goals for my YouTube channel and now I'm filming like brands I want to try in 2018 and we're like four months in. But uh, I've been really discovering some new brands and so I thought it would be kind of fun to film this video so if you're interested just keep watching. So I'm going to try and throw up pictures of particular products I want to try. Some I've probably already picked up because you guys 2018 happened and I went in with the mission of trying as many brands as I can get my hands on this year. So it's been really fun and we've got a long list so let's get into it. The first brand I want to try is Stellar Cosmetics. I don't know if that's what they're called. They're just called Stellar. And you can actually find them on Sephora.com. Now this was actually a suggestion by Makeup Struggles because I don't know what we were talking about. But it did come up and she did tell me that it was a brand founded by a South Asian woman. So I did do some research. I believe she was like Canadian born but she's Indian or something like that. And so I was really excited because I thought she would have a lot of product that catered to maybe my skin tone. But I did see the line when I was in Las Vegas at the Sephora there. And I wasn't very impressed. I didn't see a lot of tan girl friendly shades. I think I saw a lot of shades that were more of a medium complexion but more like light medium kind of shades. I mean I could be wrong. I'm not really like an expert when it comes to shade ranges. But it was very very like dull down medium like I was thinking it would be more for tan girls and brown girls um, more like Indian skin tones but I didn't really find anything that was screaming at me so I decided to put that on the back burner I might pick something up from them during the VIB sale but right now nothing has really caught my eye so I'm giving you guys kind of an update as well on what my status of this stuff right now so the next brand I want to try out is strobe cosmetics and I kind of heard about them from Georgia Harris so I had been checking out their Instagram and I saw that they were coming out with the Creepy Cute palette and I got very very excited because it looked like a really beautiful pastel palette and I had picked up the pastel goth palette from Kat Von D but that didn't really work out for me so I did end up returning it. An indie brand and a pastel palette that sounds like a really great combination of two things that I need in my life so I decided to pick up the Creepy Cute palette. I did do a swatch party video with it. I can link it up in the cards. I have not tested it out yet. So once I test it out, you guys can definitely look forward to a review. It swatched so beautifully on my skin. It was incredibly buttery. I'm so excited to play with that palette and review it for you guys as well. Now the next brand I want to try is Beauty Bakery. Again, I did pick up the Gram palette or like the Do It For The Gram palette. And I also have their ice cream palette. I did a swatch party video on the Gram palette. I have not touched the other one yet but I will get to them. Of course my review list is like weeks and weeks long but I can only review so many things at one time so I will get to it but it was a beautiful palette. It swatched so well. I'm very very excited to have that in my collection as well and I do believe Beauty Bakery is a black owned label so that is very cool as well. Now the fourth brand I wanted to try is Give Me Glow Cosmetics and I was so excited because they restocked the staple palette and I had been eyeballing the staple palette last year but I thought it was so pricey you guys and I did not end up purchasing it. I believe it's like a $56 palette and I was just not convinced and then I saw swatches of it and they actually I believe made the formula even better the second time around. So they just restocked it like two weeks ago and of course I had to get my hands on it. I do have a swatch party video on this particular palette as well so I will link it down below. Again I have not tested it so I can't give you my review on it yet but trust me guys any of these products that I'm mentioning if I haven't reviewed yet a review is coming and if I do have a review I will put it up in the cards or down in the description box so you guys can watch those videos because I bet they're really cool. Number five is Davina Cosmetics and Davina I found through Angelica Nyquist. Actually most of these indie brands are through Angelica because uh, she's like the queen of indie brands in my opinion. She had swatches of this line from Davina on her Instagram and I like died. Like 
they just looked so buttery and these shades are not like anything I have in my collection so I was like shit I need it so the bundle had sold out but of course I waited patiently until they restocked and I did pick up those shades from Davina so far I really like them I was testing them out and then I got sidetracked so I haven't reviewed them on my channel yet but like I said a review is coming so just hold on to your panties the next brand is Luxie Beauty. Now, I've heard many people talking about Luxie Beauty, and they just launched a new collection of metal shadows. And you guys, you have no idea. I'm dying to get my hands on it, but I was like, Karen, no, like, you need to test the shit you have first. So, I have a ton of shadows from Luxie that I picked up from their dollhouse collection. And so, it's on my long list of things to review, guys. So I, so far, thought they were really beautiful as far as the swatches go. And I'm really, really excited to dive into that brand as well. Now, the next brand is Suva. Again, I have picked up all the palettes that I want from Suva. So just waiting to test them out. But they are a Canadian-owned brand. I believe they were founded by a makeup artist. And so the pan sizes are huge. It is a little bit expensive to get a hold of because you do have to pay shipping and stuff like that. So I think I paid, I think I tried to hit the shipping minimum so I wouldn't have to pay for shipping, which was great. But they're a really cool indie brand and I love how vibrant the shades are. So I will have a review of those coming too eventually here, guys. Next brand is Storybook Cosmetics. I did do a swatch party video of the Burn Book palette by Storybook Cosmetics. Now, I'm really excited. I think that's what they're well known for is their eyeshadow palettes. They also carry some like weird brushes and stuff like that, but they do a lot of themed palettes based on like popular movies and books and stuff like that. So, you guys know my love for Mean Girls and I really wanted that Burn Book palette when they first launched. But I was kind of apprehensive to buy on Storybook Cosmetics website, so I just waited. And they're actually now sold at Ulta, so it worked out really well for me, so I just bought it from Ulta.com. The next brand is kind of a random one. I found this palette super randomly on Instagram, and it's the Glamlight Masterpiece palette. Again, it is sitting on my pile of palettes to try out, but this is a palette that I would say in 2017 was very me. These were the palettes I was constantly going for because they had a great range of neutrals, some beautiful lid shades and things like that. And I do love the pigmentation of this palette. Again, it needs to be tested, but I have worn it a few times and I love it. And it was pretty affordable too, so I'm excited to have that palette in my collection as well. Now, the next brand I want to try is Nude Sticks, and I believe Nude Sticks was founded by two l younger girls. I mean, they're probably bigger now. The company has been around for a while, but I believe their mom was like a makeup creator or something like that or worked in a makeup lab, and somehow they ended up creating Nude Sticks, and basically the whole premise of their brand is everything is in a stick form so they have stick eyeshadows, stick like concealers, stick lipsticks, blah 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 or like pencil types. I'm not really into that but I've heard so many good things about the brand that I'm really really curious so maybe if I can find a good sale I will pick something up but yeah I've seen a lot of people talk about that brand so good for them you know what I mean? Next brand is Pinky Rose and again found Pinky Rose randomly on Instagram. They have these palettes that are circular shaped that I really wanted to try but they were kind of spendy and somehow my patience paid off and I did pick up one of the palettes when they were on sale for like $21 or $17 or something like that. I got a good deal so then I went ahead and bought it and I'm super excited to test it out. I have not yet, but yeah, it's it was a cool find, and I haven't ever seen like an eyeshadow palette like that, except maybe like the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics, so I'm freaking excited. Okay, next brand is Pixie. Now, again, I have kind of started testing out Pixie. I did try out their It's Judy Time palette, was not a huge fan, ended up returning it. Now they've collabed with a bunch of new influencers and they have a few different palettes. I'm honestly not very attracted to those, but I have been loving their fairy liquid lights, like their liquid eyeshadows. Those are amazing. They're $15, which makes them like half the price of the Stila glitters. But they're so cool and they have five shades and they're all neutrally shades, so you can wear them pretty much every day just to top off an eyeshadow or on their own or whatever you decide to do with them. So I've been loving those and I really want to try 
the pixie toner but i just can't bring myself to pay the money because it's such a small bottle and it's 15 bucks so i've been avoiding it because i have so much toner that i need to use up first so eventually i will try it but i've heard so many good things about the pixie toner um so i'm really really excited to add that to my skincare routine at some point Next brand is number seven. Now this is sold at like Target and Walgreens and stuff like that. I do want to try it because I've heard really, really good things about it. But you know, what I've really noticed when I have paid attention to the brand is they are kind of geared to lighter skin tones. So I don't know if I'm actually going to find anything that works for my skin with that particular brand. Um, but I'm going to keep my eye out. If you guys have any recommendations on products that are really, really good from them or products that they're known for I'd be really interested I've heard a lot of people talk about that bronzer they have but again I looked at it in stores and I just felt like it might be a little too light for me so I'm kind of on the fence but they are on my radar because I've heard really good things next brand is Love Lux Beauty now I did pick up one palette from them as well as you guys will see it's a common theme here if it's an indie brand I've been trying to pick up stuff from them because I'm just so, so curious to try as many indie brands as I can. If you are an indie brand owner, let me know about your brand down in the comments because uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for all the indie brands. Love Lux Beauty, I've heard a ton of stuff about them. And I know they do the what unicorns are made of and what mermaids are made of. And I think those are supposed to be like highlighters or eyeshadows or whatever but I thought that was really gimmicky when I first heard other people talking about it but you know I wanted to try out the brand so I did pick up a palette from them which I'm really excited about. Sydney Grace is number 15 on my list. I am so in love with Sydney Grace. They actually just launched a line where they did eyeshadows um, like a set of eyeshadows for fair skin and a set of eyeshadows for deeper skin tones which I thought was incredibly smart. They were very similar shades. It's just one, I don't know if it was the exact same shades but one, some had more pigment in them and some had less but it's supposed to cater to different skin tones which I think is amazing. So you could buy the fair bundle, the deep bundle or you could buy um, the all in one bundle where you got all the shades for fair and deep which I thought was just incredibly cool to see an indie brand do that. I recently picked up their winter bundle when they were having a sale and it swatched so beautifully. I have a swatch party video you guys if you haven't seen it. I was really excited at how beautifully those eyeshadows swatch and I've been eyeballing more shadows on their, on their website but I'm trying to be good and not buy everything so I just like added added them to my cart and then just closed the browser because I was trying to be a good person. Hopefully they'll have some sales coming up. If you guys know of any, just let me know because there's definitely some shadows from them that I want to pick up. Another brand I want to try is Cleonada or Cleona, Cleo, Cleona Cosmetics, I think. And they're a Canadian brand. They had that Paleo palette, which was like a geo-themed palette, which looked really cool. The only thing about Cle Cleona is they're very, very expensive. So when I saw the Paleo palette, when Trend Moon announced it, I was like, oof, I cannot afford to spend $65 on an eyeshadow palette eyeshadow palette from a brand I'd never heard of so I decided to pass on it which was kind of a regret of mine because that palette is was limited edition and I don't think it's coming back but I've been following them on Instagram I think they're coming out with something new also I caved like a bit ago and I ended up ordering their witchcraft and wizardry like collection that they came out with I'm a little bit concerned because I haven't really gotten much updates from my order. So hopefully it'll be here soonish because I spent like $100 on that website, which is quite a bit of money for eyeshadows. And I'm really, really hoping they come soon. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys have had a similar experience shopping with them. Okay guys, the next brand I really, really want to try is Sugar Pill. Everyone and their mama talks about Sugar Pill. Georgia Harris, my cousin, she talks about it. <laughs> Sorry, let me address the cousin thing. I have actually talked to Georgia Harris on Instagram, which I'm so excited because she's the coolest. And uh, I remember first hearing her name from Makeup Struggles and I was like, there's another Harris on YouTube? And so it's really funny because... Georgia like randomly messaged me one day and she's like, I bet we could convince people we're related. And I was like, yeah, at least second cousins. 
So every time I see her commenting on something, I'll be like, hey, cousin, hey. Um, so if you guys watch Georgia Harris, definitely go ahead and leave a comment on her one of her videos and say your cousin Karen says hi because I would get a kick out of that I think um anyway back to the makeup and sugar pill she talks about how much she likes sugar pill makeup struggles hot mess ness I feel like a lot of them I've heard talk about sugar pill so really really want to try it and they recently announced that they're doing like mini palettes so you can get a palette of six for like a reasonable price because their bigger pro palettes were like $99 or like $90 or something ridiculous like that so I think I might do that at some point this year probably probably not right now because I just have literally too much makeup to test um, but let me know if you guys have any favorite shades from their pro eyeshadows because every time I try to make a palette I'm like <gasps> I don't know what shades to pick like it's crazy so very very cool stuff I'm really excited to try something from them uh, touch of glam I am so pumped to try out touch of glam I'm trying to think if I got anything from touch of glam yes I did so touch of glam I believe it's like an Etsy shop I don't think they have their own website but I got these metal eyeshadows from them and I'm so excited I have not swatched these or played with them yet again they're in my like to test pile uh, but they just look so buttery and shimmery and amazing and just delicious. So I'm really, really excited. I believe they have some new stuff that launched too. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to test these out first and see what I think. And they're always doing sales, so you can get some really good deals on Touch of Glam. Another brand that I'm actually in the process of testing out right now, so you guys will hopefully see a review soon, or it's already up, is Misha Lu. It's the eyeshadow palette I have on today, and it is the Witchcraft palette. I saw the Witchcraft palette on my friend Angelica Nyquist's Will I Buy it video, and I was like, I need that palette! And then they had a sale, so I was like, hell yes. So I bought the Witchcraft palette, and I love it. It's a little bit of neutrals, a little bit of like fun pops of color. Um, so I'm really excited to see what else they come out with this year. But I did start. I did start. So this is brands I want to try in 2018. And I feel like I've already tried most of the brands in 2018. So I feel like I'm kind of giving you guys a recap. But really, these were on my list of brands I want to try in 2018. And I'm really, really excited to be supporting some of these indie brands. And a lot of them are. Um, overseas too which is really cool so uh, number 20 on my list is certify and they have this really cool palette and I picked it up I believe I can't remember if they're sold out or not of it but yes it was sold out when I bought it so they were taking like pre-orders so I believe it's gonna ship April 1st so I don't have it yet but my friend Angelica has the palette and it looked amazing so I was like yes I'm gonna need to try that out myself so it's coming to me soon and I'm in no rush honestly to get it because I have so many things to test out but definitely a cool palette to keep your eye out and a cool brand to keep your eye out on as well the next brand I really want to try is Charlotte Tilbury now I've tried one thing from Charlotte Tril Tilbury which is their instant look in a palette um, I hated the palette, so I think that's why I really haven't ventured into Charlotte Tilbury's line. I wish she was sold at Sephora or Ulta. I don't think she'd ever go to Ulta, but I feel like at least Sephora would be great. Right now, the only place I know you can get Charlotte Tilbury from is like Nordstrom, her own website, and Beautylish. So maybe I'll do a Beautylish order. I'm not sure. I know my friends in Sri Lanka. There's two makeup artists from Sri Lanka that I love. It's Nisha and Nethmi. And both of them are like obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury's makeup and they're constantly hauling Charlotte Tilbury stuff. So I'm like, oh my god, like I need to get on this this bandwagon. <laughs> like I need to get on the Charlotte Tilbury bandwagon, but I haven't committed yet. So maybe towards the end of the year, it'll be something I pick up. I love her packaging. It just looks right up my alley. But again, I just have not gotten to uh, try it out yet. So Okay, two more brands left. The next brand is Blush Drive, and I'm going to blame this one all on my friend Paulina Beauty. I saw her, like, Instagram picture of the palette, and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I want it. It's so cool. And then she, like, messaged me because Mother's Day in the rest of the world is 
in like March, whereas Mother's Day in America is in like May or something, May 15th or something. And she's like, oh, they're having a Mother's Day sale. And I was like, well, girl, you don't need to say any more. <laughs> so I ended up getting the Blossom palette and they're also doing pre-orders for another palette. I can't remember the name, but it's all like pinks and reds. And since I missed out on the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette, I decided to go for that other palette. I'll throw up a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about because I can't recall the name of the palette. Um, but those should sh those should ship to me April 1st as well. And I think that palette is coming from the UK, so who knows when it'll come. But yeah, shopping from indie brands has definitely taught me like a new level of patience, which is a virtue in case you guys didn't know that saying. And then the last brand I have on my list is Winky Lux. And Winky Lux, I believe, just started being sold at Ulta. I saw it on Ulta.com like just today and I was like, oh, I'd seen the brand at like a local shop here in Fargo. Proper and Prim sells like li Winky Lux like lipsticks. Uh, but I saw they have like eyeshadows and stuff, like eyeshadow palettes and stuff, and I saw a few influencers get their stuff for free, so I'm like, oh, my curiosity was piqued. I'm not, it's not something like that's high on my list, obviously I'm mentioning it last in this video, but it seems like a cool brand, so yeah, I hope they do big things. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to mention in my brands I want to try in 2018 video. If you guys thought of anything that I might have missed, definitely leave me a comment down below. Like I said, always looking for cool brands, new things, you know, more unique stuff. And if you guys are interested in like unique indie brands, things you've never heard of, I would 100% recommend checking out Angelica's Will I Buy It video, or like she calls it going on the wish list or not, and that she films every Sunday. And I've found so many of these brands that I mentioned on my list of brands to try out in 2018 just by watching her video. So I would 100% recommend her because she's really in with the indie brands and I feel like I just know a lot about like generic stuff that we all know about like MAC and Too Faced and Juvia's Place and like the easy stuff, you know? She really finds like gems so I think it's really freaking cool. But that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will catch you in the next. Bye guys.